Are you giving candy again this year for Valentine's Day? Get creative, man. That's what shows women you care. This year, get her Georgia's famous baklava. It's Osborne approved. Walnut baklava with 50 layers of melt-in-your-mouth phyllo. All of the ingredients are premium and all natural. That's why it tastes so good. Shipped in a special container, priority mail, so it gets to you fresh and delicious. Order by February 10th to make sure you have it in time for Valentine's Day at mandrick.com. More big developments. Uh, well, I guess the first big development of the day has just happened in, in relation to marijuana laws in the state. And that is a 16 to 2 victory for decriminalization. Is this true? That's correct. It's very similar to the bill that passed two years ago in the House back in 2008. It simply reduces the penalty for possessing less than a quarter of an ounce of marijuana to a violation so that people don't get strapped with criminal records, don't get dragged through the criminal justice system. So the House Criminal Justice Committee just voted 16 to 2 to pass that and to put it on the consent calendar this year. So. And you feel how about this? Well, it's a big change from two years ago. Uh, when our bill passed the House by 52 votes two years ago, my, people might forget that it was actually ITL by this committee, 13 to 5, they voted against it. Mm -hmm. and we had to overturn that committee report and then pass it on the floor. This year, 16 out of 18 voting members. Of the Is it mostly the same people? It's a lot of the same people, but uh, there were a lot of new members of the committee, but there were also several conversions of people who didn't vote for it last time who did this time. And what do you think the implications are? You think it'll probably get to the House again, I'm guessing, but yes. what's the status in the Senate? How much chance does it have to getting through the Senate and through the governor? Well, that's the big question. Two years ago when it passed, it took the governor about an hour to uh, say that we sent the wrong message to children and that he'd veto if it got anywhere near him, and then the Senate wasn't interested in, in listening to us when we got there. So it was kind of a difficult situation this year. I think we'll have a strong vote in the House in favor based on this. It's on the consent calendar right now, which I don't think it'll stay there. I think it'll have a debate on the floor, but... That's even better. <laughs> yeah, it always is. Well, and it's the, mostly more, the more this is debated, the more people come over to the right side, frankly. And it's a lot of ex-cops on that committee. You have a number of how many ex-cops on that committee voted to, to decrim? Uh, there are a number of mem former members of law enforcement. There's a former jailer who voted for it for the first time. He's voted against it before he voted for it. For him. And uh, the chairman is a former U.S. Marshal, and he voted for it. So we're, they're coming along. The two who voted against it were both former members of law enforcement. All right. Well, congratulations, Matt. A lot of hard work, and thank, thank Thanks, you for Dave. your victory. Representative Stevens, am I saying that correctly? Uh, you're on the Criminal Justice Committee, and the committee has just voted basically in favor of decriminalizing marijuana. Where do you stand on that, and how do you feel about the vote? Uh, I, voted, I voted for the amendment because it was far better than the original bill. I voted against the bill because there is no provision in there for any second offense or anything. Absent that, I'm not sure but what I might have voted for because we're talking about quarter ounce and less. What do you mean by a second offense lacking? What does that mean exactly? Well, there's no provision for if somebody does this again. Mm -hmm. There's all kinds of sanctions if they do it the first time, but no provision if they do it again. So they can get away with it the second time, supposedly. Well, or... I, I assume that what happens, you go back to the first offense, first offense, first offense, first offense thing, like DWI, first offense, first offense, first Well, offense. except you're not endangering anybody. Well, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> Do you have I mean, any, any qualms about the fact that you're sort of, I mean, by continuing the, the marijuana laws as they are, you're continuing to force taxpayers who disagree with the marijuana laws to continue to enforce, you know, to, to pay for the enforcement? Do I have that concern? Yeah. I haven't considered that concern. Uh, I don't think that money should be the object of the criminal justice system. Well, it's not your money. It's the taxpayers' money. They're being forced to put it's these people... It's my money, too. I pay taxes. My money, too. And I, I don't want to get into the issues about what criminal justice costs because I don't think that criminal justice has a price. If there's a crime, there's a crime, and whatever it takes to, to handle that crime, that's the issue. All right. Well, Representative Stevens, I appreciate you speaking with me. Okay. You take care.